Well, Miles, good to meet you. Uh, welcome to Hereford. Um, tell us a bit about your career so far. Uh, yeah, the, it's been, I've, I've enjoyed it so far. I've, I've sort of been in, in and around England when I was a bit younger. Um, played for sort of Swindon um, in, in the youth team. Had a few loan clubs from there. Um, you know, good clubs, Portsmouth, Newport, and stuff like that. And, but since then, I've been up in Scotland, um, which has been a, a you know a bit of a challenge, fresh challenge. And I've enjoyed my time up there. Um, you know, I've played sort of in the SPL and the SPL Championship. Um, but I was always looking for an opportunity to try and try and come back down home and and uh, you know try try and get back down to England and uh, and just be a bit closer, really. Who did you play for in Scotland? Uh, I played for um, Inverness Caledonian Thistle on loan, um, and I went to Aberdeen, uh, which was a good experience. Um, actually, managed to get like three minutes in the Europa League, which was a big thing for me. For her. And then um, I went to Partick, and then back to Inverness. So it's been sort of six years or so that I've been up there. Um, and I've enjoyed it, it's been, it's been good, but like I say, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting back down to, back down to England now. I've been to Inverness, it's a lovely place, but it's a long way from home, isn't it really? It is, yeah, it is. Um, I come I come back back to England yesterday, um, but I had to get a flight, um, because the drive's like eight and a half hours, and it's too much, it's, it's too much. So um, I've still got to make that journey a couple of times to get all my stuff down, but um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Presumably your time in Scotland you see as being an important part of your football development there? I think so. I think the last time I played um, in England it was sort of for Newport when I was about 19, 20 um, and I still felt a little bit like a bit of a kid, a bit of a scrawny kid and I feel like I've grown up in Scotland, um, I've grown into my body, I'm more confident, um, it, it, I'm more confident in my body and, my, and myself and my abilities um, and I'm looking forward to, to sort of you know being back down here and showcasing them. How do you see yourself as a player? What sort of a player are you? Um, I think I'm direct. Um, my main position is a, as a number nine, um, as a striker. Um, um, I play with pace and power. Um, I've played sort of on either wing as well um, in the last sort of six, seven years. Because, um, you know, I, I like to use both feet. I can cross with both feet, I can shoot with both feet. Um, but my main thing is, is just pace and power. I try and um, make defenders on, you know, nervous, um, bouncing balls, and I just like to work hard. Um, and create a threat. That flexibility you mentioned there, obviously playing as a nine or playing on the wings. I mean, at this level, certainly that, that's very important, isn't it? Really, if you can play in a number of different positions. Yeah, yeah. Like I say, I'm, I'm comfortable with either. Um, you know, the way I play, I get at people. Um, I, get, I get dangerous balls into the box when I'm on the on the wing, and then when I'm up front, I like to, you know, play on the shoulder. So I've got a few strings to my bow that I use to um, to get the better of people, and I'm going to try and do that here. How did the move to Hereford come about then? Um, I was kind of in conversation with my, my former club about um, staying up there, and I had a conversation with Josh on the phone. Um, and you know, from, from the first conversation, I was really interested in, in the place. Um, I've played for you know a couple of big clubs, and this has got that big club feel. Um, and he really sold the place to me. Um, you know, it, it's, it's a project. He, he wants to get the club back to where they want to be, um, and I want to be I want to be part of that, and I want to help out. Um, so I really like the, the ambition for the place. Uh, I know one or two of the other lads that are here already, and I spoke to them, and they said how good it is and, and how it all works. So, you know, and then really, um, you know, the manager's desire to get me in was, was a big thing for me as well. Um, you know, he spoke to me a couple of times, and he, he was trying to get me here, and I felt wanted, and it felt good. So, it, it just feels like the right thing to do. A final one for me. In any summer, um, you know, players are looking to move. It's good to get it sort of nailed down fairly early on, isn't it? Really, but particularly perhaps in the current climate after COVID, of course, where clubs are operating maybe with smaller squads. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, you know, he did, he did say to me from the first couple of conversations that he wanted to get his, his team team ready for pre-season. Um, obviously, I've done a bit of research on on the team, you know, the last couple of years, and I've seen that they had a great end to the season with the cup run, and he wants to. Um, you know, build on it in pre-season and, and, and be flying for the first game. So, you know, I was more than happy to get it done and, um, you know, get myself back down here from eight hours away and uh, and, and just concentrate on my football. Um, you know, with all my family being sort of around the Midlands and stuff, it'd be nice for them. Um, you know, I'll probably have 20, 30 coming to the games if we can. Um, so that that'll be nice, and yeah, I'm just I'm just excited to get going. Yeah, even I think I'll offer this away in for be Blythe Spartans, but even that's a walk in the park probably compared to Inverness Kelly this will go out in the Strand Rara or something. Yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly. Um yeah, some of them away days are sort of seven hours or six, seven hours, so I could walk somewhere from here, I think. It just feel <laughs> just feels uh, everything will feel local to me. <laughs>
Good luck. Have a good Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you.